So let's summarize where we have been. I have posited that there is a continuum of things that are more important to believe to live in polite society and less important to believe in polite society. And my understanding of polite society, and it's very vague, is that it's a subset of the U.S. citizens. And we're not sh sure what it is, but I can tell you Nazis are not part of it. Nazis are out of polite society. And by that mean, I mean I will not serve them at my restaurant, and if they're teaching at my public high school, I'll tr try to get them fired. The Amish, by the way, also are not in polite society, not because they're thinking bad thoughts like the Nazis, but because they decided not to put themselves in society. So I gave t t t t two examples. I think this is very important. All men are created equal. That's an important one. And, and Bigfoot is real. Mm, not so, so important. We don't really c c care whether you believe Bigfoot is real or not. And then we had th three ex examples vaccines and anti-vacciners, evolution and creation scientists, and abortion, pro-life, and pro-choice. Um, I don't know if this is t t true, but I had said at, at the end that I think they're all within polite society. And that's kind of where I want to think about t today. So imagine then there's a continuum of things that are more and less important to believe and to proclaim as important. Um, do some of those beliefs push you outside of polite society? And that's, I would say, they're more important. They're not more important beliefs, but they're more important to say in polite society or not to say. Um, and so I thought about three examples. The first example is that FDR knew the belief that FDR knew that Pearl Harbor was going to happen, and he let it happen. Number two is the idea that the moon landing was not real, that all that was a massive conspiracy fake. And number th three is that 9-11 was an inside job that George W. Bush conspired to make it happen. Are those, if you believe any of those, do those p p push you outside this line? And the first one, my neighbor who just passed away a few years ago, quit school January 1941, high school, and joined the Navy, became a naval corpsman, a medic, served throughout the Pacific, including Okinawa, um, landed in Japan and saw the survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And I was telling them about one of my kids' research papers about whether Pearl Harbor is t true or not. And he said, oh, I, I think the FDR, and there's no doubt FDR knew about it. And I, I didn't argue with him for crying out loud. He's a World War II veteran, a hero, if he... he just for, for being a medic. He also, by the way, b believed that Hiroshima and Nagasaki were, were wrong, that the Japanese were about to surrender. I, I didn't argue with him about that. I, I think that's wrong also. That one, by the way, I didn't throw in because that's a, a, a great historian t topic. Most historians reject the first one, but it's so easy t t to believe because if FDR, remember, in 1941, uh, summer of 1941, so England has had uh, 30 9-11s happened to it. It's been bombed and bombed and bombed. 80% of Americans did not want to join the war in the summer of 1941. So if FDR had prayed to God that he needed something to happen... I don't think he could have even imagined how wonderful Pearl Harbor was for galvanizing the American public and, and changing a divided country into a country. So, uh, yes, it's exactly what he needed, but no, most historians don't think that he knew. The moon landing, I, 
I don't know what to say. It's it's just weird to me that you don't believe this. Steph Curry doesn't believe this. And if you listen to the Steph Curry podcast, they realize they shouldn't be saying that. They're they're like they're not proudly pronouncing that they don't believe in the, the moon landing. And it's one of those things that you believe, but you don't t- 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 tell anyone. And he just accidentally let it slip in a podcast. Um, I, I don't know what, what to say about why you would b- believe that, except it's crazy that you think that uh, we just learned how to fly with the Wright brothers and then less than 70 years later we're landing on the m- moon with the, the computer strength of a pocket calculator, today's pocket calculator. Are you k- k- kidding? Him? It's true, by the way, but it's a miracle for crying out loud. The 9-11 one, I, I, I find more, more, more tr- 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 troubling. If you believe that George W. Bush blew up the 9-11 towers, and I think the, 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 the truthers who are uh, d- d- deep truthers believe that, you have a seriously warped view or, I mean, either it's true, in which case we live in a seriously warped place, or you have a seriously warped view. Um, going back to the, to, 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 to the moon landing, Buzz Aldrin punched someone in the face for saying they didn't go to the moon. I might... If I was a 9-11 first responder or, or someone who lost my f- family member in 9-11, I might punch you in the f- face for saying that Bush d- d- did it. So the, the question is, uh, would that put you, though, over the, the line? I, I, again, the, the Apollo 11, no, of course n- 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 not. And I guess the question is, what's the consequences? I guess the reasoning and the consequences, and if you look back, we had decided, or I had decided, that creationists live here in polite society. And you might say, well, I mean, there's, you know, many people would equate scientific creationism with the denial of the moon landing. But I understand why you have believe in scientific creationism. You believe in a literal translation of the Bible, and, and, and chapter 1 seems to say something. You also, though, believe in science and, and, and modern science, and you're, you're tr- trying to make the both work together. I've g- g- got s- s- sympathy for, for, for you. And, and maybe you just are, 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 are conspiratorial and, and you just don't trust the government. Well, maybe then you wouldn't believe that NASA got someone to the moon. I don't know what those consequences are. The, the, the 9-11 one is still more, more worrisome. Here's though, let's end with this because I've gone way over time. Where would we put on this line, Holocaust deniers? Think about that and 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 put stuff in. Oh, by the way, I have a, a classroom, and you can d- join my classroom by uh, touching this link here, and you can give me money by touching this link. I'm joking. I've been on YouTube for years. I'm not taking money from anyone. And if you can't find my classroom, I I don't want you. It's on Facebook. I'm Mr. Horn, and it's Mr. Horn's classroom. See you later.